In this video, we are going to learn how to solve the access denied error that we get when we try to save a file outside of the www root directory in an SP.NET Core application hosted in IIS. So let's get to it. We are here in our web API and as you can see, we have this simple endpoint in which we are storing a file into this directory, into this directory C in a pub file. And as you can see here at the end, I do file dot write all bytes async. All right, so I am hosting this application into IIS. Let me show you that as you can see here, we have this my web API. And when I try to use this endpoint and send a file send, we're going to see that we get a access to the path, so and so on is denied. So how do we fix this? Of course, this usually means that we don't have permissions to modify this directory and therefore we must give permission to the application pool user. And therefore, what we're going to do for that is that we're going to come here. I want to come to the C init poop directory and I want to right click on the folder in which we want to give permission to the IIS user. So let's come to properties. Let's come to security. Let's come to edit. And then let's come to add. And in here I will put the user that represents my application. But before that, if you want to learn more about SP.NET Core and Web APIs, buy my Udemy courses today. I have a course on minimal APIs with Entity Framework Core and minimal APIs with Dapper, where we use SR procedures to query our data. Link with a discount in the description of this video. All right, so let's continue. So as I was saying, I am going to use the application pool of my application. So for that, I can right click on my application here in IIS, manage website, advanced settings, and we're going to see that the application pool name is my web API. So I will do the following. I will come here. I will come here and I will write IIS app pool forward slash my web API. So the exact name that I have here and then OK. And as you can see, we have the user here. So now here I can give permission to it, like modify permission, or I can just give it full control, whatever works for me. So OK, OK, and OK here also. And that's it. With this, I can come here. And before I try this, let's come here one more time. Let's see that in files, we don't have anything, right? So now let's come here, send, and as you can see, it has been successful and therefore if we come here, we're going to see that indeed we have our file here.